Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Stop Talk. My name is Julie, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. So yesterday in my video, I made you guys aware that Google, AMD, and PayPal have earnings today, and that did report earnings, and we have great earnings, but I want to take a look at Google in particular. So let's take a look at their earnings first. So we can see that in after hours, Google soared over 8.5% to $2,995. And that is because they came in way better than expected. Google posted Q4 earnings today and the EPS came in at $30.69 on revenue of $75.3 billion versus the analyst consensus of $27.58 in EPS on revenue of 71.8 billion. So that is a 32% year over year increase. So that is tremendous. Their search revenue came in at 43.3 billion revenue versus the analyst consensus of 41 billion. So they beat that as well. And their YouTube ad revenue came in at 8.6 billion versus an estimate of 8.8 billion. So that came in a little bit lower. Overall, we can see the growth is 32% year over year. But their tremendous earnings is not what I actually want to talk to you guys about. I want to talk to you guys about what they announced today in their earnings report. So if you guys were ever wanting to own Google, but you just felt the stock was just way too high, you might now have a chance. So today they announced that the board of directors has pre-approved a split for the stock and they're going to be doing a forward split of 20 for one stock split, which means for every one share that you own of Google, you will now own 20 shares. So if the price is going to be about $3,000 right now, if we divide it by 20, that breaks it down to $150 a share. So you would be essentially owning if you had one share of Google, you would then own 20 shares of Google at the price of 150. So the value doesn't change. However, you have now more shares at a more affordable price, which I think a lot of more traders are going to be able to purchase the shares at this price. However, th this has only been pre-approved, so they still have to finalize it. And if it's actually going to be approved, the effective date of record is going to be July 1st of 2022, and it will be payable at the close of business day on July 15th. Now, I do want to take a look at the history of Google. So we can take a look here. We can see that in 2012, Google added a third class of shares, which is class C, and it had no voting rights. So we have class A and class B, and they do have voting rights, which class A has carries one vote per share, and class B, which are held closely by founders and early investors, they carry 10 votes. And the company maintained the stock structure through 2015 until it rebranded it to Alphabet. And we can see in 2014, they had done their first split, which was a two for one. So this is their second stock split, which 20 to one, that is tremendous. Again, I think a lot of more retail investors are gonna be jumping on this, especially if, at a price of $150. That is just incredible. So me personally, I'm super excited to be possibly able to purchase Alphabet at a price of $150 per share. Now, typically what happens, and we did see this when Apple announced their split, we saw Apple run up um, tremendously. Let me go back on the chart over here. When we had Apple announce a split, and this was, you know, this is when the split happened, which was August 31st, but they announced it, of course, several months prior to that. So we saw a tremendous run up for this split. Uh, for the share of Apple. Of course, it retraced from the all times high, but nevertheless, it continued going on. So that is what I'm expecting to see with Google. The same happened with Tesla when they announced their split. We can see um, their split was also August 31st and they did a five to one split. And we had a nice run up all the way to the pre-split date. And of course the stock retraced, but nevertheless, it continued the upward movement. So again, this is exactly what I'm going to be seeing for Google. I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.